Hey guys, we're back. We're in the workshop and we're about to show you how to install your ultimate trigger into your CZ firearm. Now this CZ SP01 has got a flat trigger installed and we're now going to remove that. That could be the original factory curve trigger. It could be any trigger for that matter. We'll show you how to do that quickly, efficiently and install your ultimate trigger. So let's grab the parts we need out of this. We're going to put the brass one in because it's really pretty. So there's the brass trigger, the ultimate, and it already has the over travel screw installed, grab screw. The other parts we have that we will use are in the little bag. We have the hex key for adjusting that trigger for both grab screws, the pre travel and the over travel screw. We have the competition trigger pin, which we're going to put in as well, which is a reusable solid pin. We have the competition trigger return spring, which will help with the double action weight. And we have the two grab screws, the four mil and the three mil, which you can decide which ones you need, depending on the tolerances in your pistol. Okay, let's take the slide off this pistol. So first thing we have to do, line up those marks on the slide and frame. Tap out that slide stop and remove the slide. Now we have access to the internals of the firearm. We just drop that hammer and we're going to remove that pin with our two millimeter punch. Push it straight out, just like that. Keep it in there. That stops your trigger return spring flying away. We've removed our trigger pin and we can turn that upside down, cover the magwell of the gun and pull that punch out. That way we don't lose our trigger return spring. Now, we're not gonna take out our hammer or our sear cage or our trigger bar. We're just gonna slide that trigger up to the hole for the slide stop until we can see the pin inside there that connects the trigger bar to the hammer. Not sure if you can see it, but it's in there. And we'll use that two millimeter punch and we'll just push that pin out there it is, it's fallen through the hole on the other side. And now we can push that trigger up and take it out the firearm. Now we're ready to install our Emantec Ultimate Trigger. The grab screw is already installed for the over travel. We want to install the grab screw for the pre travel. I'm going to use the three millimeter grab screw, which I think will be ample. Just going to install that in the trigger. And I would use Loctite on this when it comes to actually setting it up. Going to leave a little bit of it protruding now let's get that installed in the gun drop it in from the top so we're going to line up the hole in the trigger with the hole in the trigger bar and you can test that that's lined up by putting your two millimeter punch through there put the gun on a flat surface and pull that out very very gently so you don't disturb it now grab that pin and drop it in on top and send it home very, very gently. Oh, I moved it. Maybe we'll be lucky. Yes, we're lucky. And there we go. We've attached our trigger to our trigger bar without having to remove the trigger bar, the sear cage, or the hammer. Next step is to install our competition trigger pin. And you want to line up the hole with the trigger and the hole in the frame. And get that pin in, but not all the way. Just into the side of the trigger so that you have that area free for the trigger spring to go into. If you push it in too far, you're not going to be able to install the spring with the tool. So pull that out. That's attaching the frame to the one side of the trigger. We don't have to worry about that while we prepare our trigger spring tool. So this is our competition trigger spring from Emantec. We install it in the tool by pushing it into the slot sideways like that. We want the long left leg on the left hand side and we want the short leg on the right hand side. Rotate that up till it stops against the top face of the tool. And what we're going to do to install it is the long leg goes into that groove in the frame and the short leg goes into that recess of the trigger. Let's go for it. So make sure the trigger's forward for this. Push it in, hold it in position, push the pin home, 
and you can remove the tool and we've installed our trigger return spring. Very, very easy, very, very simple. What's left to do now is put the slide back on and put the slide stop back in and we've installed our trigger, which needs a bit of setting up. So what we have here is it's not coming forward enough to reset for the double action. So we need to remove or rather add some pre-travel by screwing that screw in a little bit. There we go. We now have double action as simple as that. We have a little bit of pre-travel there, which is good to have in case of dirt or temperature changes where things expand. We don't want to lose our double action when we're in a competition. I'm actually going to give it a little bit more by turning that in a quarter of a turn. And I'm quite happy with that. That is a very little amount of pre-travel, but it's a lot better than what would have been there without that grub screw. Our over-travel is pretty good. We'll just test that quickly. I like to bite my finger in between the frame and the trigger when I do this so that the trigger doesn't go all the way back when it fires. So I pretty much catch it and then I let go and I see how much further it goes. And that's a very small amount, probably half a mil. I'm very happy with that over travel. So that's it, my trigger set up. Very happy with that. What I like about the shape of the trigger at the bottom is it's not sharp. So where you get more leverage to pull the double action shot, it's not hurting your finger because of the geometry and the shape we've installed on this trigger. So that's the ultimate trigger from Emantech. It's going to be stocked very shortly by your dealer. Get hold of your nearest dealer. See if you can get your hands on it. We've already started shipping this product. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Join us on social media and hopefully we'll see you on the range soon. Cheers.